Hey, y'all. I know the case that's over with, right? He ne negotiate his plea guild, uh, deal and um, he gone. But is this all about was it really about Yantha and YSL? Uh, it was, or uh, was this about the women in YSL and the member of YSL turning against thug? And the reason why I, I just thought about this is, and you know, and this is early in the morning. And y'all know I'm a morning person because I work morning. Now, I think that, and I believe that the member of YSL, include Ghana, all of them, they like Young Thug. I believe this was intentionally allegedly against thug and the guys of YSL who's in the courtroom they like thug period and that go for Shannon that go for Ghana that go for um Yak that go for I can't think of the other guy who left and don't mind his business. I don't think that the member of YSL liked it, though, period. I believe this was about the women connected in YSL. Witty didn't care nothing about him, period. Nobody. The police, the officers, the court, the prosecutors, Fonnie Willis. It wasn't about taking games out of the street of Atlanta. They know for a fact that Atlanta is a game community. It's a big, it's, it's games everywhere. And if you're going to take down the main game, it's a lot of games over there on Stood Avenue. Now, we're going to go back on something, but listen to this. Let's finish listening to this. Mr. Williams, do you understand that this is a non-negotiated plea of guilty and that if, since your plea, your guilty plea is a blind plea or a non-negotiated plea, the state is making a recommendation of sentencing to the court, notwithstanding the fact that this is a blind plea. You understand that, Mr. Williams? Okay. Now, I don't like this. I don't like this. First of all, I never heard of a blind plea. So y'all know what I did. I came over here and I looked it up. It said a blind plea is a legal strategy where a defendant pleads guilty to a crime but leads the sentencing to the judge. Y'all hear that? It's a strategy where a defendant pleads guilty to a crime. So thug plead guilty to this crime and the judge is going to sentence him. It's also known as a non-negotiated plea. Open plea or cold, cold. 
a defendant might choose a plea, a blind plea, for a number of reasons. They don't have a strong negotiating position. They want to accept responsibility. They want to maintain their integrity. The prosecutor is making an unreasonable offer. However, and y'all, this is not for the ones who know it all. It's just for the ones like me who don't know what these pleas mean, okay? However, a plea is generally considered a bad idea because the defendant has no control over their punishment. Right now, Thug don't have no control of his life. The defendant, he can have control of his life, but his punishment. The defendant is in admitting guilt. The defendant is likely stuck with the sentence they receive. The blind plea is a risk. And the defendant can't take back their guilty plea. It's recommended to consult with an attorney before making a decision. Now, after listening to that, it makes me wonder, did Thug make the right decision? Especially in the matter, the manner that he's going in now. Now, if you look back, gonna admit that YSL is a gang and they committed crime. That's what he said. And I want you to hear it from the best lawyer that I like. Now, y'all, just listening to that, something that Woody said, Woody said Gunner is a good guy. Gunner did not tell him, snitch on Young Thug. What he thinking Young Gunner doing now? Gunner putting all of this stuff on Thug. He, he, he putting it on thug. Now, Miss Love presented this and asked him a question to make him look as if, make it sound as if he did snitch when she was talking about the drugs and everything. Ghana did, and this is what his attorney said, Ghana did not snitch to get out of jail. He has said nothing and it's not cooperating. His plea statement cannot be used in court against any other defendant. Why won't? Why wouldn't it? So please stop spreading lies. Now, this is what his attorney said. Now, what y'all just heard, what y'all just think, what y'all thought, 
did he snitch on Thug? Because he was looking as if Thug wasn't going to come out, take that plea that he took. You know, Woody, I don't understand why all the girls are so crazy about him. Do you know this man? This a snitcher. He's a snitch. He would snitch on you. But listen what he said about Gunner. See, you don't even know what he's talking about. It, it can look, it can look bad on uh, Young Thug because he said that uh, it's a game. He said it. I don't know what what they thinking about. You don't care. Don't none of y'all care about the. Then none of y'all care about the. None of you. None of you care. Y'all use that man right there. Now back to here. I want y'all to hear what Mister Steele just said. I don't think Mister Shaw. Couldn't end about Thug. That's why Thug got rid of him. I don't think nobody care about Thug. I think most, these two men care about Thug. I think these two men care about Thug more than anyone. Me love, no she wrong. Yeah. One yeah. and sixty-two. 
Yes, as okay. part of the recommended sentence in exchange for the defendant agreeing to the special conditions that we asked the court to impose, the state was willing to no prosecute count one, count 57, and count 62. Okay, and then all of that consecutive um, to the probation, that was going to be what we call backloaded and what were y'all what were y'all proposing with regard to that since it was a total of the probated sentence? The total sentence was 43 years to serve with the first five years in prison commuted to time served followed by 15 years on probation followed by 23 years in prison which would have been served in confinement except that if defendant had complied with the special conditions of probation imposed as part of this sentence the Okay, I don't want to hear Miss, Miss Love talk, so I'm going to end it right there. Now, I want y'all to hear what Mr. Steele got to say. And I, I, I don't know. This is shady Rico. This is this about women. And, and the reason why I say is this about your woman, your woman, uh, 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 Everybody was against this man. Everybody was against this man. But you learn and you live. And I hope the can stand up in his sentencing position and stop worrying about who told on him or what, what did and who went against him and let that rise and don't get caught up. That's what I don't want him happen to him. Today, for 15 years on probation, if he successfully completes that probation, then he would not have to go into custody. If he did not face probation revocation, as well as 23 years, as the um, court said, backloaded in the Georgia prison system. But okay. we could not come to terms on all the conditions that the district attorney was insisting on. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep listening. Cause see, I, I don't know how strong Thug is. I don't. I don't. So let's listen to this. The violations. I violate any criminal laws of any governmental unit or any special conditions of probation without being subject to revocation for the balance of the sentence the court imposes. Yes, I know. I know. Do you understand that you are not allowed to possess or use a firearm while on probation? Yes. Do you understand that if you are not a United States citizen, a guilty plea conviction will affect your immigration status and will result in deportation, just like a conviction at a trial would, and that this is true regardless of any advice by your attorney or anyone else? Do you understand that neither the court, your attorney, nor the district... He's not even on probation. ...district attorney's office has anything to do with parole and the Department of Corrections or Board of Pardons and Paroles. These guys in court, yeah, none of them care about the... only thing they, was, they, they like about him is he can get them in the door and he know good people. Once they get their feet in the door and get it wet, they were going to throw him in the dungeon. Um, yes, ma'am. Um, I take full responsibility for, you know, my crimes or my charges. Uh, See? See how he had to change? He changed it, and I'm glad he did. Because he didn't commit no crime. His charges. Now, I want to get to the part where Mr. Uh, still going to say this, but I ain't heard him say it yet. You can't be that way when you reach a certain height because it could end bad. And if, and it don't really have to have nothing to do with you, but it could end bad and it could, you know, fall on you. That's right. That's right, thug. Let me let y'all hear that again. 
they child hear that again. That's what happened to Thug. It's just the same thing I just said. A lot of stuff because because I was just nice or cool, you know, and I understand that Look at you, you can't be that way when you reach a certain height because it could They'll use you. end bad and it, and it don't really have to have nothing to do with you, but it could end bad and it could, you know, fall on you. And I know the choice is yours is up to you and I hope that you allow me to go home today and, and just trust in me to just do the right thing and never see you again unless it's unless it's at a you know bar in the future or something just out of this type of situation I promise you I'm going to ever be in this type of situation again I'm, I'm going away I've learned from my mistakes you know I come from nothing and I made something and I didn't take full advantage they of they stole you they stole from you your life Look at you. That's right, thug. Hold your head up, baby. The heights I've reached, I know the impact I got on people, period, in the community, you know, all people. I now, something good came out of the judge on this situation is the game count. He didn't get that. The uh, Rico. Listen to this. They let you know it wasn't on Rico. On this, not a Rico. The state, had they been able to come to agreement on certain special conditions, was willing to entirely dismiss the Rico count. Was willing to entirely. They dismissed. Did you hear that? They dismissed the Rico count. Listen, y'all, they dismissed his RICO counts that they alleged that he did. So, in other words, the judge don't feel like he did it. And she the only one can make this sentence right now. Okay. Because don't forget, the a blind plea. Non-negotiable. And they dismiss one of the gang camp. Ain't that something? It, it, I mean, it's good for him, but I'm saying, ain't that something? That's why we here for a Rico. It's, it, but they, she dismissing that stuff. She dismissing me, dismissing it. To entirely dismiss this, you know, machine gun count. And they dismiss that machine gun. And you remember Ghana? Plead guilty that about that machine gun that it was thug. She dismissing this stuff. Y'all turn against that boy. Y'all turn against this man right here. But the judge is, took looked out for him. Now, now thug, if you fool around here and let people get in your ear. But I tell you, she did your favor. Um, was willing to give a sentence that permitted Mr. Williams to walk out of the door today. And therefore, does not seem to be particularly worried that Mr. Williams, if on the streets, would be a danger to society. I don't either. Taking that into 
I never thought he was a danger to society. I never did. Right, Man, here go Ghana. Ghana gonna make this statement right here. The baby, everybody call him a snitch. Well, I have agreed to always be truthful. I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, have not been interviewed, have not cooperated, have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case and have absolutely no intention of being involved in the trial process in any way. The rapper said in this statement, this was Ghana said, but Ghana, I know you want to get out of jail. I know that but you don't understand Miss Love kind of the way she kind of twits and said things and how she word things. It will make the look bad. Okay. Now let, let me tell you this. What I was trying to find for y'all was what Mr. Steele said about Ghana on that paperwork, on the court paperwork. Now, but right now, Thug said, told Ghana. Start acting like we're friends on the internet. I don't know you. I don't know you, my guy. Mid love. Want to see that man do time for something that she can't even prove that he did. She wanted him to be charged for doing that to Donovan. I don't understand why they treat Thug like that. They don't like him. Okay, y'all, listen to this. Yes, Your Honor. Uh -huh. um, many of the statements made by the prosecutor we vehemently disagree with. The prosecutor uh, misstated I many found pieces it, of evidence and then took liberty that that is the state's theory. Mr. Williams. Now. So I don't think that that. Uh, Hold on, y'all. Now, look at the when he mentioned Ghana. Like he didn't know that he was going to yes, say this Honor. about Ghana. Now, that was him in Ghana. Now, now pay attention, y'all. Remember, I found it, y'all. I found this. This is the part I want y'all to hear. Cause it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on right now. That's why I want y'all to hear this. But those who already know, I'm just talking to my subscribers. Supposedly lost. Could not explain the loss. 
so in um, has a following information. The state only, because we haven't called the witnesses yet. So the state put up a man um, who has, who said nothing except I don't recall. And then they put in his prior uh, recorded jail calls. That man was taken. Would it? Lil Woody, not uh, not Lil Woody, but uh, Lil D, Lil D. Vehemently accused me of lying to the jury and Woody. that the man never went, he was never taken to Grady Hospital, and that somehow I planted on him to say something on a recording where he said the reason I implicated Jeffrey Williams is because the police. Look at you. That's right. 